Tessa Tour alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much anticipated main event. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Lewis is making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. He's so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. <laughs> Teddy, an obvious, obvious Move height it. discrepancy here. Got a real tall guy against a short guy. Right off the bat, advantage tall guy but not necessarily right not necessarily look on the outside if he's able to control those quarters yeah he has an advantage but once the shorter man closes the gap a little bit and he gets in close guess what there's a lot of target in front of him lewis is able to avoid that punch <laughs> lewis is ripped by an uppercut <gasps> Oh, he just misses with that headshot. How about that left hand? Nice block by Lewis. There's a good right hand. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. I shake it off. Way to block there. <laughs> off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. That right hand over the top lands flush. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Good body shot. The right hand came home. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. He just missed that shot up top. Count down the final moments of this round.
you can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Keep it simple, okay? Just keep it simple. Here we go. Round two is underway. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Good way to protect the midsection. Hits him in the mug with the right. Lewis is getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. Nice block. Body shot, body he shot. tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good job protecting himself. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Good defensive skill. Lewis is getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Scored well up top. Lewis is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Halfway through this round, wide shots that aren't sharp or targeted. That has been his problem tonight. Lewis has got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Nice block by Lewis. Good shot there with that left. Parries that punch away. Keep it up. the body shot that's an impactful right hand by Lewis just 10 seconds to go here in the second round this round comes to an end and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't right landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. Get off. Set the power shot up with the jab. Number three is underway. Committing to the combo now, both land. Lewis is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. He has his target, he lands a straight right. Gets 
rid of that. It was intended for his head. Really frustrating his opponent now. Lewis is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Scoring well with that hook by Lewis. Great round now, back and forth after he did the hurting, he's the one hurt. Joe, simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Look at that! Wow, thunderous right hand pours him. <gasps> a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Able to dismiss that body shot. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. He gets rid of that effort. That's it, just like that. Ten seconds to go in this round. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? You're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. Lewis is up three zip on Teddy's scorecard, but obviously he's putting together a big lead here, having his man down. Yeah, his opponent keeps walking straight in. So he's catching him with straight punches, hard straight punches. Able to cover up that gut. Beat him to the punch. Look at that. The hook came home with ease. Downstairs with a right hand. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Nice work, nice work. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. Uppercut. Do it. And an excellent uppercut by Lewis. Finish with a hook. Nice work. The left hand to the head. He missed with that headshot. Reaching the halfway mark of this keep round. Keep moving. Double up on your punches.
Good job staying away from the danger there. You got this one. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Lewis is in there clinching a lot, it seems to me. I, don't, I mean, he was stunned earlier, but it just seems like he's tying up. Hey, if it seems like that to you, that's okay. But more importantly, more dangerously for him, it probably seems that way to his opponent. And he's going to take advantage of it. He knows that he's not right. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. We come to the end of the round. And obviously, they're going to have to tend to that cut right away. How important is it that you have good faith in that cut, man? Well, it's everything. The most important thing is what not to do sometimes not just what to do you know you got to stop the bleed you got to put pressure you got to get the right chemicals in there the right coagulants but you don't want a corner man saying oh my god this is pretty bad you know you want him to be nice and calm because just what you said the fight is looking at that corner man five has arrived scores with the uppercut oh you see him with the left of the head there Do that again. nice block by lewis Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Good looking uppercut that time. Jump on him. Nice. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Nice! He's got half of the equation figured out. He's throwing a lot of punches, but the more important half of the equation, he's way off the mark. Yeah, well, you know, he should talk to a golf pro. You know, if you want to hit a golf ball, you want to hit it straight, you wouldn't stand crooked, would you? <laughs> I mean, your feet would have to stand where you could hit the ball where your feet are pointing. Big, big shot he just scored with. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're gonna find out right now, he needs them right now. hand by Lewis. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. 
Oh boy, what a break he just caught. The bell rings at the end of the round, saved by the bell. And if you're in the corner, what do you do? Well, you just finished painting the house, you know, and you want to paint a little more, but the paint is still wet. You got to wait for it to dry a little bit. You got to wait for your guy to wake up. You got to wait for the cobwebs to go away before you can do more painting. All right, listen. You need to create more punches, okay? Slip this punch and throw a straight right down the middle. You gotta pick up the speed, all right? Pick up the speed. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. I got He has a new round in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink. But this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Lewis is tagged by a hook. One, two. One, two. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. <laughs> Lewis is proving to be elusive. <laughs> and he's holding. Let's go, hit him! <laughs> Take yourself! Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Lewis is showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. End of the round is upon us. And we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy. What can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you search into those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself, places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of round that can turn a fight in a completely new direction. He did well. Yeah, you know, the old time saying was uh, bad start, good finish. Well, that's what he's hoping for, good finish. <laughs> Lewis is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch.
Scoring with the right hand by Lewis. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Keep it going. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Lewis's defense clearly carrying things right now for him. But what else should he be conscious of beyond just this good footwork we're seeing? Well, the old times would say, hey, you're doing the hard part. You're making a miss. Do the fun part. Make sure he pays. And he just holds on there at the halfway point of round seven. Lewis's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Left hand coming into play by Lewis. towards the end of the seventh round. Ten seconds to go. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? I mean, you are winning this fight. It's almost done. You had him that round. You're in control. Next round, let's keep busy. You need to move your head more, okay? Side to side, lean to the side, then boom! Got him, got him. Lewis is enjoying a big lead on Teddy's scorecard here as we start round number eight. He has dominated this fight, Teddy. What advice would you be giving him if you were in charge of that corner? I would tell him, look, I don't want to go into a prevent defense because we see the football teams, they do that. The other team suddenly marches down the field when they couldn't go down the field. But keep your defense good. Make sure you stay alert. Don't make any mistakes. You know, keep the offense going because that's what's keeping them in control. That's what's keeping them from coming down the field, so to speak. But stay alert. Make no mistakes. <sighs> And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. <sighs> Lewis is showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually to even set up offense. You know, he'll make you miss, and then there's something coming back. He creates opportunities to hit you. Not able to land the headshot. <laughs> the halfway point of round number eight. Keep doing what you're doing. Solid right hand lands. You could tell that he was nearly out of gas, so now he's taking a little bit of a break. He's tying up. Hey, look, airplanes have to land. They don't keep flying. They land so they can get refueled. He's getting refueled here a little bit, but 
His opponent, he gave him a landing strip. He should not have. He should have made him crash into the mountains. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Stay with him. He's trying to get some energy back, and now he's tying up his opponent. Solid. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Precise at all by Lewis. Clock counting down here, round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And this round comes to an end. Lewis is in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Okay, breathe now. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Don't get careless out there, right? Just just keep boxing yeah, smart. That was good. That was good. You took a lot out of him that round. Just keep that up. I don't know that there's any hope here as we start this new round. He's been knocked down numerous times already tonight, including the last round. And I'm sure on that fateful night with Corrales and Castillo, when Corrales had already been on the floor two times, his mouthpiece was out. It looked like it was over. I'm sure nobody thought that it was only beginning. And it was. Corrales came back and scored a knockout. Good block. <laughs> Lewis is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. <laughs> now hugging on the inside. <laughs> Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Let's see some more head. Let's see some more head. Get out of the way. Good work, toe to toe there. Both fighters got in on him. I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot. There it is! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's over. This fight is over. Lewis is gunned down yet another opponent, a knockout victory. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.